Folks, hey, what's going on? This is Wesley, Million Dollar Virgin. Happy Sunday, guys. Um, I got a great topic I want to talk to you about today. You know, I hope you're feeling well. Um, the question <laughs> that I get all the time, you know, one of the questions is, you know, it's a lot of millionaires out there, maybe a million plus. Um, maybe 2,000 billionaires. And everybody wants to have a conversation with a millionaire. Everybody wants, you know, the people that are trying to achieve something great, not the lazy people, not the slackers, not the procrastinators. No, people that are in business, people that have ideals and dreams, um, they want to speak to a millionaire. Or they want to get their attention because they believe that that person can move them faster down their journey. And this is true. Um, happened for me as well. And But a lot of people, maybe yourself, you don't know how to speak to a millionaire. Or you don't know how to get a millionaire's attention. And I want to show you some secrets that, um, that I have created that works like crazy. I even used one of these techniques to be able to contact a billionaire. And I actually got a response back. I'll talk about that later. But, um, <clears throat> you know, when you're working hard to be successful, you, you figure out some tricks of highly successful people. Okay? Um, give me a second. I want to share this out. I hope you guys are having a great day. You see here on a Sunday I'm working. See, this is my work right here. Even though I take pleasure in what I do. Um, you know, a lot of people out there, they having fun. It's a beautiful day in Houston, Texas. You know, a lot of people, they don't want to be in the house working, you know, scratching, fighting, reading books and stuff like that. But as you can see here, no TV is on, no radio. This morning I got my cars washed. Uh, I took my car to the car wash. And now um, I really use the weekend, unlike other people, to learn. Um, learn. And to think about what is my next big thing. I mean, I'm always thinking like this. Um, you know, I think of business as a competition. You know, business is like a game to me. And I believe, like Mark Cuban says, he's the owner of the Dallas Mavericks. He says, if he said every day somebody's out there trying to kick your ass in business. Every day. You know, right now, you may have a business. You may be soaring. You're on top of the world. And someone's trying to kick your ass, right? What's up, Letitia? And you may be struggling. But every day, somebody is trying to take the food off your table. So guess what, guys? I'm working. What's up, Robbie? What's up, Mike? Wow, you guys are in here tonight. Guys, please like and share this video at this time. You know, this is going to be an amazing video because I'm going to give you the secrets, my secrets, okay? Um, what I've used um, the past couple of years to contact a millionaire. Or contact someone that makes a lot of money or have the lifestyle that I want and get a response. Uh, I remember. What's up, Claudette? What's up? Uh, I remember. <laughs> so funny, right? I remember contacting millionaires or people that are very successful with, and no one answering my email. Have you ever experienced that? I mean, some of you today. <clears throat> you know, I get messages every day. Every day. So, Wesley, I need your help. I, I got one email. It just said help in the subject. Like, help! I'm like, what? Help? What do you mean? Are you dying? You need me to call 911 for you? But um, <laughs> uh, people just don't know how to contact millionaires. Guys, this is going to be amazing. I swear to God, it's going to be an amazing video because not only am I going to speak to you from a, um, um, a mindset standpoint, I'm going to give you some practical things to do. So things, it's going to be some aha moments in this video. It's going to be like, damn, that makes sense. Oh, my God, I need to do that. Because the problem is you're just not around successful people. You know, I may be the only person that you know on video, right? I do these live videos maybe three four times a week. And I may be the only person that you get a chance to communicate with or hear, right, weekly. Um, you know, that is different from your current circle. Does that make sense? You know, I remember when I was going down my journey to success, you know, becoming a millionaire myself, I didn't have anyone every day, a millionaire, just absorbing his knowledge, someone talking to me, someone taking me by the hand. So, guys, I mean, you have to really think of yourself as being very fortunate 
to be able to even, you know, for me and you, I'm fortunate because I get to contribute to you. You're fortunate because you get to absorb this knowledge. Does that make sense? Because I want you to think about something. Every day that you watch one of my videos, every day you're not going to be just like, oh my God, Wesley was amazing. Speak. Oh my, he said some great things. Don't think every video is going to impact you to make you feel some feeling. Some days when you go to school, some days it's good. Sometimes the class is good, right? You know, a lot of you guys went to church today. Sometimes the preacher is amazing. Sometimes he's not so amazing. But every time that you experience the pastor, the class, Wesley Virgin, the subconscious mind is getting something. The muscle is being worked. You know, every day I go work out in the gym. Every day I don't get the best workout of my life. Can you relate? You know, someday I'm tired, I don't feel like it. And I say, you know what, that wasn't my best workout. But it still counts. It's still building the muscle. And I want to let you know that your muscle, okay, your millionaire muscle or your financial status or your worthiness or for you to become absolutely abundant, for you to really control your destiny, that muscle is building, my friend. But you got to keep watching. You got to stay in class. What's up, Monte? Jack Quill! Sherilyn, guys, please at this time like and share this video while I get ready to share this at a couple pages. Um, just share it, guys. Share it, share it, share it. Just share it for me. You know, share like this video. I'm sharing it right now. I'm going to my Facebook page right now on my computer, as you can see here, and I'm going to share this out to the world, of course. You know, but make sure I appreciate you too as well, Sean. Um, <clears throat> and you know, I really appreciate you saying that, Sean, because. Um, you know, like I said before, you know, I don't have to do this. And so I know a lot of people that's rich. I know a lot of people that's successful. I know a lot of people that's successful and happy, and they're not doing this. And I'm not throwing rocks at them, but they're not, you know, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. You're going to hate to hear this, but there's a lot of people that have made it. They have given up on people like yourself. They've given up. They said, man, they're too lazy. They say they're going to do something. They never follow through. I invest my time in them. I invest my money in them. And they keep fucking off. They keep just doing other stuff. They keep giving me fucking excuses. They keep telling me stories of why they can't do it, Wes. Man, good luck, Wes. Go ahead, man. We commend you, but we're done. A lot of people that have made it, man, they've washed their hands with people like yourself. But I haven't. And you know what? The thing is, when I do these type of videos, I'm not looking for the masses. I know one day, I mean, every day I know I influence the masses through one of my videos or even when I go out into everyday life. But I'm not looking for the masses. I'm looking for that one or two that's going to be consistent because that's all it's going to be. I wish everybody, you know, when I do these videos, when you guys share them out and like it, and I really appreciate that, we get an average of 600 to 1,000 views every video, right? And I know it's only going to be less than five people that's going to take what I'm saying and apply it. Does that make sense? Only five is going to apply it. And only one is going to be consistent. Isn't that crazy? And you'll think it'd be more people, right? You think like, well, man, it's amazing. This guy's a multimillionaire. He could be on a yacht. I could be vacationing. I could be driving my exotic cars around Houston right now. I could be on a shopping spree right now. I could be hanging with family right now. But I'm here with you. Because I haven't given up on you. I believe, like I said before, I said there are losers in life. And you have winners in life. And you have people like yourself that are trying to figure out how to win. That's the people I want to talk to. And that's you. So that's the reason why I do it. That's the reason why I do this. It's when I will continue to do it until I get an email from one of you, Claudette, Jack Quill, Monty, Sean, and say, you know what, Wes? Man, the things that you gave me last year, now I propelled my business. Now, Wesley, I'm no longer working a job. I'm making over $20,000 per month. I am free. I don't have an alarm clock any longer. I can take my children on vacations around the world. I can bless my wife. I'll bless my husband with the greater things in life. I am smiling every day. I'm wearing nice, beautiful clothes. I... That's what I'm waiting for. But until that happened, we in class. All right, guys, give me a second. Let me share this video out a little. Let me share this video out. 
Get a pen and paper, please, and share this video like I'm doing it right now. While I'm doing this, you do it as well. Share it out on your timelines. Share it out in your groups. Share it out with everybody else. You know, they jacking around right now, man. They're playing around. You know, it's so funny. I'm a multimillionaire, right? I, I got millions of dollars in my bank account right now. I'm not bragging. And it's so funny. Like me, I would rather like record a video helping people than go outside. You know, it's a beautiful day out there. Drinking with friends, having mimosas, watching the game. I ain't got time for that shit. You see the game? I ain't watching it on game. I'm not saying I don't like football, but I got to work. Because I know, see, the thing is, see, you don't understand my mindset. My mindset is $50 million net worth. Does that make sense? $50 million, not $2 million. $2 million is my net worth right now. My goal is $50 million. Then it's $100 million. Then it's a bit. Now, why do I need all this money? Because I got big dreams. And I have great things that I'm going to do for myself, for my family, and for the world. And it takes a lot of money. So I can't spend my time watching the television that's not going to teach me how to increase my bank account. Guys, if you don't have at least $5,000 in your bank account, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't, man, you can't be watching no damn TV. You can't be listening to no Drake and no Lil Wayne and Beyonce. You don't have time for that. You have to use this period like the weekend? Shit. Nigga, I'm telling you, somebody's out there trying to kick your ass right now in business. Because most of you guys haven't made it in business. You're playing around. It's no time to play. It's time to learn, and it's time to grind. All right? All right, guys. Thank you for your shares and like. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you again for that share and like. Appreciate that. What's up, Dwight? What's up, baby? RT! Man, we in here today, huh? You guys on fire, baby. I love it. I love it. See, I just like people who want to win. But guys, like I said, today's video is going to be a good video because I'm going to tell you exactly how to get an attention of a millionaire. How you can email a millionaire or get their attention to get them to invest in you, to get them to mentor you. It's, I just swear, I mentor about maybe three, three or four people right now, right? And they did something, and not even teach them this, but they did something that impressed me. Man, I get over maybe 20 people every day and say, hey, Wesley, mentor me. On a YouTube comment, on, on an email, Facebook, mentor me, help me out, blah, blah, blah. But um, most of those people, unfortunately, I never respond to. And I'm going to tell you why. And all millionaires are like this. All billionaires are like this. I'm going to tell you why they don't respond to you. I'm going to tell you why you can send an email, right, trying to get their attention, and they don't respond to you, okay? Because I know some of you mad, kind of pissed off, all right? But I'm going to give you the secret. Hold up. Now, hold up. Give me one second. Hold up, hold up. Here we go. All right, guys, thanks for sharing and liking this video. All right, so anybody out there right now, um, I know some people that's watching me. I know some of you guys are successful. And I think success is this. Let me, let me define success. It's the, pro this is, it's the um, progressive. No, you know what? Let me give you my definition. Success is this. It's being able to control your destiny without any other influence or any other person. Uh, it's being able just to do what you want to do without anybody telling you what to do. Does it make sense? I mean, that, I think that's success. You know, we ain't talking about money right now. Just success is just like if I feel like doing something, I can do it. Like, if I feel like being lazy, I'm going to be lazy. If I feel like going to a meeting, I'm going to go to the meeting. But success is being able to do whatever you want to do and being able to do not do something because you just don't want to do it today. I don't want to do it. And not feeling bad about it. I think that's true success. Because then you're not stressed out and you're, um, you're happy at the same time. So, how do you contact a millionaire? And guys, you can always leave your questions. Remember to follow me on Snapchat at 7 Day Fitness. I got to get those announcements out um, <clears throat> because I give you daily interaction to myself um, who's doing some great things out there. So how do I get access to a millionaire? Let me tell you what you're doing wrong, okay? If you email me and say, Wesley, I love your videos. I mean, I love your motivation. 
I love your inspiration. I even love your smile, brother. I mean, man, you got a great smile. I love it. I love your positive attitude. Man, I need you to mentor me. Period. Sin. Is that going to get a response? Can anybody tell me? It's Wesley Virgin going to say, oh, my God, thank you so much. This is amazing. Oh, my, I get the chance to mentor you? Oh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to mentor you. No. I'm going to delete your email, okay? Now, guys, don't get upset. What's up, uh, Natika? What's up, Maria Valentino? Guys, I'm not going to email you back. Okay? If you email me, say, Wesley, man, you're killing it, Wes. You know, I'm trying to kill it, too. Is it? Can you give me some advice on what I should be doing to be successful like you? I'm not going to email you back. Guys, don't get pissed off because I'm being honest. With, I'm being very transparent with you, okay? And I'm, I'm going to tell you why a lot of people that, you're, that you see as role models in your life, that you see as people that you want to become in life, why they're not contacting you back, okay? I'm not going to email you back. If you say, Wesley, give me a good workout. Wesley, give me a good workout plan, man. I want to get rid of this, this flabby beer belly or I want to tone up. I am not going to email you back. Okay? I'm not going to email me back at all. All right? And you might think in your mind, well, why? Why? I know you're asking a why. I know somebody right now saying, well, why won't you email? Wesley, I knew you since high school, Wesley. I knew you back when you was out there on 3822 Blarney, when you was in the hood, when you was in South Park, hanging out, playing basketball. <laughs> we was in high school together, Wes. You was my friend, Wes. Why you not, you know, communicating to me and why you not hitting me back? Because <sighs> things have changed. Things have changed. And the problem is, see, the only reason why you get upset when someone, when you email someone, or you contact someone, or you send a letter to someone, or you attempt to get a millionaire's attention, or someone that you say, oh, he's arrogant, he's this, he's that, it's because you're the same. So you're the same person. You're the same guy 10 years ago, jacking around, you know, still doing shit that's not productive in life, still with the same type of language, still communicate the same, still hang around the same people, still not reading books, right? Still hoping that you'll become successful, still wishing that things will get better. You're the same. What's up, Esmeralda? What's up, Ken Kenyatta? What's up? You're the same. And since you're the same and the other person has changed, you don't understand where this person is. And I want to explain in this video what happened. Okay? I'm going to tell you what happens with a person that works their ass off for years. Me, I worked for seven years to get where I am today. I remember crying. I remember having no money. I remember separating from friends, from everybody, from family. I remember hearing the criticisms from people telling me, oh man, you need to go back to work. Oh, what are you doing? That's stupid. That's dumb. That doesn't make sense. No one wants this. I remember hearing this stuff. I remember recording videos over and over again and people telling me what I should do. Right? I remember going to the, I'm just being honest with you guys. I remember going to the Bentley and Rolls Royce dealership over and over and over again. People leave comments, man, you silly. Ha <laughs> ha LOL. Boy, you need to go to bed. Ha <laughs> LOL. I remember seeing that. Right? They were in their bed sleep. I'm out there grinding. I'm out there dreaming. I'm out there believing. I'm up there working. 
I remember flying across the country on a credit card with negative dollars in my bank account, risking it all just to be around people that maybe I'll receive some nugget that will allow me to be where I am today. <clears throat> I changed. And since I changed, because see, you have to think about it. A lot of you guys want to get to the success and get to this amazing life, but trust me, if you get there too fast, you want to appreciate it. See, I appreciate my success. I celebrate it every day because, see, I know what I did to get here. I know about the nights when I was worried about my situation in life, like how I'm going to get this together. Jesus Christ, I have no job, no money coming in, and I still got to keep dreaming. I still got to show you that I'm positive, that I'm happy, that I'm happy. Right? I remember not buying any clothes for seven years, wearing the same clothes. What's up, Steven? What's up, Chris? I remember those, those nights and days. Guys, I changed. But you stayed the same. <clears throat> and by you staying the same, you want me to respond to you or a millionaire or somebody that's very successful or maybe someone you knew in your group and they made it and you didn't. And now you want them to pay attention to you only because now they're in the limelight. It doesn't work that way. But I will tell you, it's a way to be able to get the attention of a millionaire. It is a way to get someone like myself to consider going in business with you. To consider saying, you know what? Hmm. I like this person. I like this girl. I like this guy. It's something about them. And I want to talk about that, guys. A lot of you guys, when you, and this happened to me in the gym all the time, because, you know, I'm doing a lot of things in Houston, running a lot of ads in Houston. So, and a lot of people that started to see who I am, my face, and things of that sort. And I go to the gym, and people, because I see it, they're afraid to come to me. They say, well, this, this guy came up to me one day and said, hey, hey, Wes, uh, hey, you Wesley? I said, yeah. Oh, man, um, see, man, I don't want to come to you like, like I'm a girl, like I'm, like, like, you know, like those stalkers or something. But, you know, I saw your stuff, man. It was real good. I said, okay, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, guys, I just want to let you know, I really, they're, they're amazing, some good videos, man. You just really helped me, man. I just want to let you know, you really helped me, and, man, you just really helped me. I said, great. Now, <clears throat> what's the problem with that? You know, I appreciate that, you know, that I've helped this individual, that he's seen some of my content online, and kudos. Thank you so much. But the problem is this. The young man that came to me, I knew he wanted more. I knew, I knew what he said, what he really wanted to say, he didn't know how to communicate it to me. Does that make sense? Grouse, write this down, man. Write this some big stuff. See, the problem is, if you come, if you come to me, right, and you want me to be your partner, or you want me to be your, your you know, you want me to mentor you, things of that sort, if you come with me, write this word down, confidence. If you don't have any confidence, I'm not doing business with you. I'm not going to even mentor you. I'm not. If I feel that, if I feel that you're weak, guys, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not, I'm not talking about people. I'm not calling people weak. I'm being honest. If I feel that you're weak, if I feel that you're scared, if I feel that you're nervous when you talk to me and you want to communicate to me something that you believe to make you and me a lot of money or you believe I have something that I can give to you to excel your life and you come to me nervous, I would never do business with you. Write this down, guys. Presence is everything. Write this down, guys. Presence is it's everything. Let me tell you something. I know this young kid right now, young young kid, 18 years old. When he talked to me, man, he talked to me like a man. He don't talk to me like I'm on no pedestal. He don't talk to me like, oh, Wesley, you just doing it. No, he talked to me 
straight to eye to eye, chest out, and ask me questions. I love this about this kid. But it seems like the people that are 30, 40, 50 years old, when they're trying to talk to me or maybe a millionaire, they think like, you know, think, think if I'm Denzel Washington or, you know, say if I'm, um, um, who is the famous person out there? Say if you met Kim Kardashian or say if you met um, the Shark Tank Damon John or you met Mark Cuban. Most of you guys are going to be nervous. Nervous, right? Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, how you doing? Oh my God, I can't believe I'm meeting you. What the fuck is this all about? Let me share something with you. This is me talking. I don't care who I meet. Come and meet a lot of people. Even when I meet Oprah. I love Oprah. She has done some amazing things, but she's no better than me. I'm going to shake her hand. I'm going to give her a hug. I'm going to give her a kiss on her cheek. And I'm going to say, I'm proud of you, Oprah. I'm going to say that she's a billionaire. I'm a millionaire. She has influence over billions of people's lives. And guess what? I'm going to say, I'm, a pr I'm proud of you, Oprah. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm not going to be nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to be shy. Never. You got to do the same thing. If you're approaching a millionaire, someone that you know, even at a seminar, and you'll see the guy that was the keynote speaker and you don't know how to approach, they can feel your, they can feel your weakness. They can feel that you're shy. They can feel that you're passive. It's almost like when a man is trying to talk to a beautiful woman, right? Come on, man. Scary, right? Trying to talk to this beautiful girl. He's like, oh, man, she's fine. Oh, dang, I want to talk to her so bad, right? And you <laughs> you approach her, hey, uh, um, how, she feels it, man. Before you say a word, she feels your weakness. She feels it. And guess what? In her mind, ain't got time for him. Ain't dealing with him. You could be a great guy, the greatest guy ever. But she feels how weak you are. You can't approach <clears throat> a strong man because most millionaires are strong. We're very aggressive. We're alpha types, right? We're very direct. We're loud. We're authoritative. So why would you think I would do business with someone that is on the opposite of that? Would you do business with that person? Probably not. Confidence, guys. Write that down. President, and I want to give you a couple of attributes here. Hold on real quickly. Thank you. What's up, Nettles? What's up, baby? I'm going to give you a couple of things. I mean, this is some good stuff, guys. I'm telling you because until I... See, I'm not trying to say that I wasn't like this because I was. You know, I would see the speaker. I remember I was in LA... No, 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 Las Vegas. And I seen the speaker on stage. And I wanted to talk to him. So, oh, man, that guy's a legend, man. I want to talk to him. And I was like... I came up to him and said, hey, man, how you doing? Um, hey, I'm Wes and... Man, I followed your post, man. You just, you're great, man. You're doing some, man, you're just killing it. And that's where the conversation stopped. It stopped. You know, I, I didn't get a chance to communicate to him. Whatever. I mean, I want to work with you. or I want to absorb knowledge from you. I didn't know how to say it because I was too starstruck. Make sense? I put this person on a pedestal that was so high that I couldn't see myself having a regular, normal conversation with him. And I see this every day when people deal with me sometimes. You know, because of some of the things that I've done in life, you know, a lot of things that I've accomplished, they put me on a pedestal. And everybody does this, but what I'm telling you is this. That if you eventually want to get to my level, or a millionaire level, or to be highly successful in life, you have to understand that right now, in your mind, that me and you are on the same level. You got to, in your mind, it doesn't matter what I think. I may think that you're not on my same level because maybe you don't have the disciplines that I have. Maybe you're not consistent. Maybe you're not so motivated like I am. Maybe you're not um, determined like I am. But as long as you know in your mind that, man, you know what? When I meet Wesley Vernon, if I meet my mentor, if I meet this millionaire that I know that can escalate my business, or maybe someone that I want to model that has a business that just like what I want to build, we're on the same level. 
and I'm going to talk to him such as. I'm going to talk to him as if I am on his level. Man, I know kids today, children, teenagers, they talk to me with confidence. Because even though I make all this money, see the car there, my is amazing, but they talk to me normal. See, a problem, a problem with most people, you're trying to say the right thing. See, we talk to me, you're trying to say the right thing. You don't seem like too, like, you know, you're jocking me. Somebody told me, they said, well, I want to seem like I'm jocking you or nothing, but I like what you And you're thinking about what I'm thinking about too much. Who cares what I'm thinking about? The question is, what do you want? The question is, what do you think about yourself? Because let me share something with you. If you don't think of yourself as great, if you don't think of yourself as worthy, if I don't feel this presence of power when you come to me, I ain't dealing with you. Now, from a business standpoint, I'd be your friend. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Get some motivation. But I never do business with you. You never be a person I want to mentor. Because you're weak. I hate to use that word, but it's true. You're just weak. You don't know what you want. You don't feel worthy. See, millionaires and billionaires, you know what they want? They want powerful people around them. They want people that's going to expand them, stretch them. They want people to say, oh my God, man, I like this person. Wow, because he like me. I like people like myself. I like people who are alpha type. I like powerful people. You know, I'm, I'm okay if I'm a little intimidated. If you come around me and I feel a little intimidated, if I feel a little intimidated, that means I have, you have something that I want. But most of you guys, ladies, you're afraid to, to approach them because you have all this inner talk. Well, what if she think of me of this? Well, I just can't go up to her. You know, ladies, you see, maybe you see um, Serena Williams, right? And you're like, oh, I just can't go approach her. Or maybe you see this great businesswoman that maybe you want to get close to, like a Michelle Obama. And you're like, oh, I just can't talk to her. She's going to think I'm crazy. And she's going to think I'm silly. And that's not professional. And see, that's your talk. But see, millionaires, we don't, we, we, we don't care. Guys, we, before I was a millionaire, I got to the point, I didn't, I didn't care about what other people think. See, this is why I drill in your mind. Because the problem is with you, you want to do everything right. You want to dress right. You want to put the makeup on right. You want to get the right kind of haircut. You want to get your nails done right. You want the jewelry on right. You want to speak right. You want to say the right word. That has nothing to do with getting someone's attention. Especially the millionaire guys. Nothing. And what I want to do, hold on real quickly here. Let me open this up. I wrote this down because I want to give it to you here. Um, I want one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to give you the six things I want you to write down right now. Because when I told you presence is everything. What's up, sweet low? What's up, Miss Pierce? Presence is everything. Okay, listen to me. There are six things that I personally look for. And I think other millionaires, billionaires look for as well. And when I started doing these six things, I had, when, when Wesley was broke, zero dollars, right? I had millionaires reaching out wanting to help me, encouraging me, giving me tips, giving me hints when I started to do these six things. And I want you to write down these six things, okay? And I believe if you do these six things, right? If you show these six things, if you display these six things to people that are very successful, they will bring you into the group. They will bring you into this circle. Because, guys, when I was brought into the circle, man, money would never be a problem. It just won't ever. So you'll never understand it until you get here. See, some people, they're worried about, oh, man, you made a little of your money. You make it. No. Once you get into the circle, you'll never lose the money again. Once you get it, it's, it's very easy. Bring your pins out. First thing is this, you got to be passionate. See guys, the only reason why you watch my videos, you think it's really the words that are coming out of my mouth, it's not. It's the passion. You can feel what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Come on, come on guys, interact right now. If you can feel what I am saying to you right now, hit yes. Just put yes. 
because I'm passionate about what I'm telling you. If you're talking a Wesley version and you have an ideal, you have a dream, a project, something that you want to tell me about, right? The first thing I want to feel is passion. I want to feel that you really want it. I want to feel that you've been up every fucking night dreaming about it. I want to feel that. Because if I don't feel that, I don't want to fool with you. I'm going to be honest, man. I don't want to fool with you. Because I don't care about what the words that are coming out your mouth. I care about how you're seeing the words. I want to see your facial expressions. I want to see your body movement. I want to see the paranoia in your eyes that you're afraid, but you still want it. I always say, well, Wes, I quit my job, but I'm still going after my dream. I have zero dollars in my bank that just to climb my car, but I'm still flying here to figure out what I don't know. Whew. I love that. I love people that are paranoid about their dreams. So passion, write that down, okay? Next one is enthusiastic. <laughs> Most of you guys, you're not enthusiastic, man. You're just like, what's up, man? <laughs> what's up? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll be there. I'm going to do this. Okay, yeah. Man, I need to get off this couch. Yeah, I need to go work out. Yeah, I need to make a phone call. Damn, I got to go to work. You know what? It was a study that said over 90, 95% of people in America alone are not enthusiastic about anything. Nothing. And the only things they are enthusiastic about is a Friday night or a Saturday night or the weekend or a vacation time or they get to go to happy hour or when it's time to have sex or when they see someone that they really desire. But other than that, we're not enthusiastic, or enthusiastic about food, right? Ooh, man, what you want to eat? Mmm, I'm so hungry. Mmm, I can't wait to eat this donut. I can't wait to eat this uh, um, chocolate pie, this chocolate cake. And we're enthusiastic about the wrong shit. Most people are not enthusiastic about anything. They're not enthusiastic about their life. I said, you know, how's your life? Mm, pretty good. Just what I want you to do, guys. Write this down. The next time someone asks you, and I do this all the time. I did this even before I was actually living the dream. They say, Wesley, how are you doing? Man, I'm living the dream, brother. Just like this. I'm living the dream, young lady. I'm living the dream. I would smile. I do it till today. Every day. If you, if you talk to me, if you ask me, man, how are you doing? Man, I'm living the dream. I am living the dream. Do that for the next week. Just say it. Because people are like, huh? I'm t I'm t even when you, it, it doesn't matter if you're not living the dream. Just do it. When you go to work in the morning and someone asks you, hey, hey, Denitra. Hey, Sean. Hey, Darko. Steven. Claudette. Dequa. Archie, how are you doing? Man, I am living the dream. I am blessed and highly favored. Man, I'm living the dream. Man, people are like, oh, wow. Lucky you. Wow. What do you have that, that I don't have? People, man, when I do that, people just stare at me. They're like, damn, I want that too. You living the dream? Because everybody wants to live the dream. Guys, you got to be enthusiastic when you're talking to millionaires. You got to be happy. You can't be come to a millionaire and give us all your problems. You know what I hear all the time? Oh, Wesley, I'm trying everything. Oh, Wesley, they can't get this to work. Oh, Wesley. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you, you think I want to hear somebody crying to me? I hear enough of it. I'm not saying I'm not empathetic to your situation, but man... Every day, through email or Facebook message, somebody is telling me how bad their fucking life is. And how the story is the reason why their life can't progress. What I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how bad your life is. You still can be enthusiastic, and you can be passionate, and you can be happy. How do I know? I did it, and it worked. I did it. Because at the same time, when things are going wrong in your life, at the same time, something is going good in your life. See, every day right now, a baby is being born. Every day right now, someone's dying. Right? Every day. 
Somebody just died. But every day someone's being born. Every day someone's getting a terrible divorce. But now, right now, somebody's getting married to the person of their dreams. Right now, somebody's losing their baby. And they're crying. But right now, someone's having a baby. It's going to change their life forever. What I'm saying is at the same time that you're looking at your life and looking at how bad it is and concentrating your focus, there's something that's going good in your life. And if you want to communicate to a millionaire, if you want a millionaire to do business with you, if you want a millionaire to take them under your wing, you want a millionaire to call you up and say, man, I like something about you. Be enthusiastic about what's going right. Be enthusiastic about the things that are going well in your life. Shit, man, I'm grateful for my fingers. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that I have a place to stay in. I'm happy that I got a car. I I'm happy that I have amazing, great, mannerable kids. I'm grateful that I have parents. Come on, guys. Everybody. Everybody. You have something to be enthusiastic for. Put it below while I go to the next one. Hold on. Put it below, guys. Tell me what you're enthusiastic about. Everybody, that's the order, guys. All right, next one is, it's a big one. This is a big one, guys. Guys, make sure you share it and um, like this video, guys. I'm glad you're loving it. But write this down for me. Be authentic. You know, you know what I love about, I don't know if you guys watch Tony Robbins or Anthony Robbins. I love this guy. You know, I model my life out there. I kind of see myself. Um, I do see myself as being like him, if not better than him. You know, like, but that's how I model myself. A very uh, motivational speaker. You know, influenced millions of people's lives. He's just incredible when he's around people. And um, people love him. And I like him because he's so authentic. And when I say authentic, he's not scared to be vulnerable. He's not scared to tell you what's going wrong. He's not scared to tell you, you know, man, you know, I fucked up. I screwed up. I made a mistake. He's authentic. He just, this is who I am. You know, he's not afraid to make a mistake. I'm not trying to do everything right. You know, some of the guys, you may hear me curse sometime. And you may hear me say the wrong word. So what? It's just the passion that's flowing through me. And that word comes out. But I got to be authentic. I can't be somebody else. I can't sit here and talk to you and trying to cater around everybody. It doesn't make sense. Someone send me a comment and say, Wesley, I like your motivation of it, but man, all this language is just really rubbing me the wrong way. I said, if it's rubbing you the wrong way, then you need to go find somebody else to listen to, sweetheart. What else would I say? Because you know what? This is who I am. You know what? Sometime about Wesley Virgin, I leave a lot of water on my bathroom floor. That's just how I get out the shower and it's water everywhere. That's just who I am. You know, it is what it is. Don't be afraid to be authentic. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Be the best you. Don't try to be me. Don't try to be the mentor or the millionaire or the billionaire or the person that you admire. Be the best you. With all your flaws, all your mistakes, all your ups, all your downs, all your right. But be authentic, man. Because people can feel that. You know what? And I'll tell you a story about Kevin Hart. I remember Kevin Hart getting booed off the stage many times. I remember him trying to be everybody but himself. Do you remember that? Long time ago. Just in the beginning days, guys. He used to be on television. He used to do, like, um, comedian things um, in L.A. And I remember no one really liking him. Because he was trying to be somebody else. He was looking at other people. Okay, I need to do this. Oh, okay, I need to do this. But when he started to be himself, authentic, the world embraced him. When he just talked about his life, he just... Because, see, it's easy to talk about your life. Does that make sense? Because, see, you don't have to make up shit. And a lot of you guys try to make up stuff. Well, you know, this happened, this... No, no. Just talk about your life. 
I talk about my life all the time. I don't care. So what? Repo, bankruptcy. I've been in jail several times. Not over killing nobody, but I used to write bad checks. So? That's me. I did that. I'm not doing it anymore. But that happened in my past. But a lot of you guys, you're scared to just share your story. Why do you need to be authentic? Let me tell you why. Because people need to be able to relate to you. If I sat here and tell you how great my life is every freaking day. Oh, my life is great. Oh, my life is great. Oh, my life is great. That's cool. But you don't build no connection with me. See, I got to tell you the part. <laughs> when I filed bankruptcy just to save a freaking uh, Ford Explorer from getting repo. Changed my life. So I got to tell you about the nights that I spent in jail asking my parents for money. They didn't have the money. They're upset because I'm in jail. Sitting in jail over dumbass traffic tickets. You know, getting pulled over. My my mom and dad passed their anniversary. They're celebrating their anniversary. I'm on the way. I got pulled over because I got warrants for tickets I didn't pay for. And I had to go to jail. And I had to call them to get me out. I had to ruin that whole situation. It happened. Authentic. You want to talk to me? Be authentic. Just tell me how it is. But once you tell me how it is, tell me how you want it to be. Say, Wesley, well, you know, I'm having a hard time right now and blah, blah, blah. But let me tell you how it's going to be. This is a temporary loss in my life. Fuck that. I don't care. That's temporary. My life is going to be amazing. I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm making these changes. That's what I want to hear. Guys, let me give you the next one. Next one. Write this down, guys. <clears throat> be captivating. Guys, let me share something with you. If I wasn't captivating, you wouldn't listen to me. If I didn't scream at you sometime or raise my voice or say, you're a winner, you're great, you're the best, you're powerful, right? You won't listen to me. Guys, be captivating. Don't be boring. If you're going to talk to a millionaire, man, make my eyes bug. Like, oh, shit, what is that? What? Draw me in. Tell me something that's just going to make me drop everything. Right? Tell me something that's going to be like, what? Whoa, turn, whoa, whoa. Shut, be quiet. What? What'd you say again? Be captivating. Most of you guys are boring. Just come to me. Hey, Wes, I got this idea and I'm going to do this and do this. And, you know, what do you think about this? And I'm like, huh? What? What? Don't be boring. Don't be boring. It's okay. Move your hands. Move your face. Look at me. Smile. Scream. I don't care. Do something that's going to get my attention. Do you understand? As people, right? As people, we get bored like this. I can be talking to you and I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not even listening. <laughs> right? I'm not even listening. Huh? What would what, you say? Because our attention spans are like this. Your attention span? Like this. My attention span? Like this. Why do you think on the TV, you ever watch TV and you watch a program, they're not going to leave the same screen on the television for more than five seconds. Time it tonight. When you watch TV, watch how every five seconds, it's a new screen, right? You see this, and bam, it flicks to another part, or it flicks to another angle. Well, advertisers or television experts, they know that the brain gets boring. The brain just gets bored automatically. And if we don't have anything changing in front of our face every time, we tend not to pay attention to it. Does that make sense? That's why sometimes I have to fucking curse. Because, see, when I say that word, you're like, what? Did he just curse? Did he, did he just curse? <laughs> right in your mind? That jolts you. Does that make sense? All right, next thing. 
Be confident. And I think we talked about confidence, guys. Be confident about what you have. You know how you become confident? Get educated in what you're communicating to me about. You want to talk to me about your business? Oh, that's ideal. Well, to be confident is to mean do, do your research. Read on the topic. Get knowledge about your topic. Most people are not confident because they don't know shit. Right? You can't tell me about your ideal because you don't know anything about your ideal. You haven't did the research about your ideal. You don't know the numbers in your ideal. You don't know who your avatar is. You don't know who your customer is. You don't know your cost, um, your, your, uh, cost per acquisition is. You don't know none of this stuff. How many people is in your market? What are you targeting? What states? You don't even know. So how are you going to be confident if you're not knowledgeable? This is why I tell you to read Read. I'm not just saying read it for the hell of it. Read because when you get more knowledge, you can speak more intelligently on a topic than other people. Does that make sense? That's what makes me confident. Because I just know more than you do. Because I read like a crazy person. Guys, ladies, I'm a reader. I'm a knowledge seeker. So the more that I read, the more knowledge that I get, the more confident I become. All right? There's one more. Um, I think that's it. That's it, guys. Those things. I think it was one more, but I share with you later because my laptop just went dead. See? See? That's, that's called being honest and authentic. My laptop just died, so I can't get the other. Because God, I hope you had a good time. You know, those are the things that you need to do to get the um, the attention of a millionaire. All right, presence is everything. Don't email me, man. Don't don't email me. Especially don't email me asking for nothing. Email me. Yeah, I know it's five, Archie. I know. All right, hold on. Let me see you, Kagan. Turn my laptop. It's one more. Ah, but I can't. I can't. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. Let me find my charger. Where is my charger at? Children! I'm here by myself. I'm serious. Hold on. But, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them at this time. I want to use our Sundays to really ask you a lot of questions, okay, guys? And let me share something with you. If you don't have questions, you need to get some, okay? You gotta be smart. Don't don't be. Ugh. Oh really? You gotta be smart, guys. You gotta have questions, all right? Stop saying that you can't think of a question. Oh, I can't think of a question, Wesley. I can't think of a question. Well, shit. I don't know how you ever gonna be rich. <clears throat> It'll never happen. You gotta have questions. Cause a lot of people say they want to talk to a millionaire, but yet, um. When they get in front of a million, they have no questions. And I'm saying, well, shit, what did you want to talk to me about? You just want to tell me how amazing I am? You want to just tell me how great I am? That's what you want me for? I'm like, I appreciate it, but I got enough of that. Tell me something else. Oh, okay. Hold up, but I think it was one more. Hey, I appreciate that, Arch and Nettles, guys. I uh, appreciate you, Ryan. Tanya, Chris, and I'm going to go through here, guys, and look up and see if you guys left any questions. Oh, the last was this. Um, the, last, the last thing was this, guys. You have to be comfortable with yourself. Got to know your flaws. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I never shared this before. I really don't like my nose. I don't sometimes. I just don't. I don't like I think it's big sometimes, and I just, you know, when I smile, it's big. I, I don't really like it. That's that's one of the things that personally that I can say sometimes I don't like about myself. You know what I mean? But I got to be comfortable with it because it's mine. God gave it to me. You got to be comfortable with your insecurities. And you got to be comfortable communicating that. Because everybody that's watching me, everybody that I have, um, everybody has some insecurity about themselves. That makes them feel uncomfortable. 
And let me share something with you. That affects you in your day-to-day life. Because you think somebody focusing on it and they're not. You think somebody, oh my God, look at his eyebrows. Oh my God, look at his ears. Oh my God, look at his lips. Look at his nose. Look at her chin. Look at her legs. Look at her arms. Look at her saggy boobies. Right? And no one's even paying attention to it. See, because, see, we believe that people are just so superficial. They're not so superficial. What I've learned is the more authentic I am to other people and the more comfortable I am about myself to other people, it allows them to do the same. That's why so many people open up to me, like, immediately. They just open up to me. And they open up to me because I'm just, you know, they don't feel like I'm trying to hide something. See, most of you guys, you're trying to hide you know, you, you think someone is focusing on how you're speaking. Oh, I can't post this video because, you know, my language pattern and I can't speak that well and I messed up. And, you know, people are going to think. People are not as bad as you think they are. I swear to God. Even the person that kills people, that sells drugs, that do some of the most obscene, craziest thing in the world, I believe deep down inside of them, they have goodness in them. Why? Because God created them. And God didn't create any trash. God didn't create nothing nasty. God created amazing people, everybody. You know, sometimes our behaviors, sometimes we do things wrong based on our experiences, but deep down inside of us, we all want to do good. We all have that thing that we can say, you know what? Man, I'm doing all this wrong stuff, but man, I want to be a good person. I want to treat people well. I don't want to be resentful. I don't want to like down people. That's not me. Everybody's like this. Everybody from the worst person that you can think in your mind right now, trust me, they have good in them. So what I'm trying to tell you, be comfortable who you are. All people are not that bad. People are not that bad as you think they are. They're not. They're good. They're okay. Some people might, you know, may, some people might take a poke at you. You know, some people might throw a rock at you. It's okay. Catch the rock and throw it away. That makes sense? So be comfortable, guys. Be comfortable who you are. You know, you may be an overweight person. Just be comfortable. Get better. But don't every day look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh, look how fat I am. Look how ugly I am. Look how stupid I am. Look how skinny I am. Look how this I am. Look how this I am. Look at this, this, this. I love you. You created you. God has given you the best gift on life. He's given you a gift. And you know what that gift is? That at any point in time in your life that you can say, Archie, Denitra, Sean, Jamar, we're going to make a different choice today. Does that make sense? We're going to make a different, we're going to make a different choice today. Today, I'm not going to drink anymore today. I'm not going to eat all this food that I know is making me overweight and fat. Today, I'm going to stop being a liar. I'm going to stop being a smoker. I'm going to stop hurting people around me just because I'm hurting. I'm going to stop being so rebellious. I'm going to stop, you know, giving people so much pain and misery because I'm in pain and misery. Today, I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to stop doing drugs. I'm going to stop cheating on my wife. I'm going to stop cheating on my husband. I'm going to stop being sneaky. I'm going to stop looking for hookups around the world. Can, can I get a hookup? Can I get a hookup? I'm stopping that today. I'm going to stop degrading and deprecating myself, telling myself all these negative words that you're a loser. You suck. I suck. I hate this. I hate them. I'm going to stop using these words. And I'm only going to use words of encouraging people. 
encouraging myself. I'm only going to lift up other people. Even when they're giving me pain, I'm going to lift them up. You have a gift. You got to remember that. But see, God was very creative. He was interesting. He said, I'm going to give you a gift. But it's up to you to choose how that gift is going to unravel. It's up to you. See, some people got a nice, shiny car. Some people have a nice, amazing life. You know, when they open up their gift. You know, some people have the, the person of their dreams. They have an amazing, beautiful family. And some people, when they open up their gift, have nothing. Poverty, hurt, pain, depression. Because say God said, I give you the gift. But it's up to you to will. It's up to you to create everything that's beneath the box. Everything that's within the paper, that's you. Here's the gift. Here's the power. But the same power that you can use to create an amazing life is the same power you can use to destroy your life. To live a sour life, a depressed life, a hurt life. It's up to you. So guys, leave your questions at this time. Thank you for sharing this video now. If it's impacted you, if it's something that you think you've received. I think I might do one more video tonight. I wanted to talk about network marketing. Um, someone asked me about that. I want to do that. But guys, thank you. I love you so much. Okay? I love you so much. Because you're taking the time out to learn something that you don't know. You know, I wish it was a time ye years ago when I had someone that would do this for me. But I couldn't find that person. I remember I used to watch videos. But you get to watch a live video. And you get to put real questions below here and ask a true person that is living his dream. I'm truly living my dream. I am thankful to God. I'm thankful to the universe. And I'm thankful to you that I'm able to do this. But what I'm telling you is don't take this for granted. Please don't take it for granted. Please don't only just listen to my words, but tomorrow morning, put that shit into action. Start using the things I'm giving you. This is what I am doing to create the life that you see. It's not an accident. I didn't inherit this life. I wasn't given this life. I took the gift that God gave me. I just took the gift and I cultivated the gift. I worked on the gift. I believed in the gift. I had faith that the gift would come out good. And it did. I appreciate you as well. I love you all. Hey, any more questions? Let me go through here. Hold it real quickly here. Thanks for the shares and the likes of you on YouTube. Even if you're watching the replay back, I really love you. I appreciate you. Darko, when can I start promoting your German clickbait product? Uh, I don't have it yet, Darko. We're working on it, buddy. Um, any more questions? Let me see here. Let me see here. Let me see. Guys, thanks for all the likes and shares, um, all the comments, and I'm going through right now to make sure I answer all your questions. And on the next one, guys, have questions. You know, I want to... You got, you got to talk to me. Does it make sense? If you're in class and it's something you don't know, don't be afraid to ask the question. Because guess what? I can't help you if you don't ask me the question. I can record videos. I can inspire you. I can motivate you. I can give you practical things that you can use in your everyday life to lead you to a life of success. But you got to ask me a question. You got to tell me what you don't know when I can say, hey, do this. Wesley, I'm doing this. Do this. I was thinking, do this. Let me help you. Let me see what we have. Ronnie, what's up? We got a lot of people on here today. I appreciate your shares and likes. Uh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I don't see any. What happened if we email you about college? Oh, Kenyatta, um, I will be choosing the person that's going to get that scholarship um, in Houston, Texas. And next week, I'm going to contact those people. So um, thanks for leaving that message, Ms. Griffin. Um, I can do your video audio, blah, 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 blah. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? All right. No questions, guys. Hey, let's do this, guys. Let's do something special. Um, I don't know yet, Darko. I don't know yet, but I'll let you know, buddy. All right, here we go. Is it better to do a voice, uh, a video course, or a PDF type that course, like the Fat Minister or less more? 
Um, I think that video is the best. I do everything with video. If it's a sales letter, I do video as well. Jamar, what are some little steps that can be taken to increase confidence? Um, to increase confidence is basically get knowledge. Um, the more knowledgeable you're about a topic, the more confidence you have. That makes sense? It's anything in life. You're like, you want to talk to women. Well, learn about women. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you want to make millions of dollars and be successful, study success. Then you can speak confidently about it. If you want to be in a certain niche or a certain category, weight loss, or maybe you want to be in the purse business or in the, the chair business or the apartment real estate business, no more than your competition, right? Read. Read. Jerry Turner. I mean, Turner. Jerry Turner, he was the guy that um, he did the uh, the cable the cable companies around the world. And he said, man, my own advantage is I just knew more than a lot of people. I knew more than my competition about stuff. Bill Gates, he knew more about computers than anybody else, right? Same thing with uh, Steve Jobs. You gotta know more. When you know more, then you're more confident when you speak, that makes sense? Uh, unfortunately, a lot of Americans, especially Americans around the world, they just don't know a lot of stuff. They know, they know who won the football game last night. <laughs> they know what Kim Kardashian did a minute ago because they're watching the Snapchat. They know when the lipstick going to be released from Kylie Jenner. You know, they know when the next Drake song is coming out. They know all the words of Drake's song. And they know when the next club is going to be, you know, featured or the next drink. I mean, you know things that are just not being productive. It's, it's irrelevant, okay, for you living a successful life. Start learning things of value, okay? We said when trying to brand yourself. Claudette, things to consider when you're trying to brand yourself, guys. So one thing, when you're trying to brand yourself, consider this, that you need to start creating videos. I'm going to talk about videos all day. People need to build a connection with you. Why do you think I'm recording videos? I am building a brand. The brand is Wesley Million Dollar Virgin, guys. Duh. This is my brand. But I'm recording videos. And when I record videos... When I'm live like this, I'm not trying to do the, I'm not like trying to be perfect. I'm trying to do the best job ever. I, I'm working to change people's lives, change their thinking, get them into action. I want to hear stories of success. So Claudette, you need to be doing videos every day. Communicating your artistry, communicating what you do very well, and being able to help people. This is what's going to help your brand, okay? Time to shine. Ask again, brother. I agree, I agree. Okay, good. Any more questions, guys? Because we're going to end with, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I want everybody right now to get your ass up. And we're going to end this video with some power. Stand up. Who's standing up? Anybody standing up? If you ain't up right now, then I don't believe that you're trying to be a multimillionaire. I don't think you're really trying to be successful. Get up! Get up because motion creates emotion. See, if you watch any of my workout videos, right, I slap my chest, right, because that just sends me power, right? I move, you know? I know it's crazy, but it works. I'm a winner. 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 Yes, I'm a winner. Yes, I'm a winner. Yes, I'm a winner. Yes. This is Wesley, Million Dollar Version. Much love. Get fit with passion.